Madam Speaker, at a time of dysfunction and rancor, it's useful to remember a time when America led the world because of the heroism of everyday Americans. I rise today to honor the life and legacy of Sergeant Joseph Farina of New Windsor, New York. Joe was a regular guy who ran a bowling alley in Newburgh, New York. He was a 20-year-old and member of the National Guard when America was attacked at Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. That very night, Joseph volunteered for service. During the war, he was deployed to the Philippines and to New Guinea, where his service earned him four battle stars, numerous other medals, and two presidential citations. Joseph passed away at his home last uh, month at the age of 97. Next to him was his wife of 76 years, Elizabeth, who he had married in Brisbane, Australia at the height of the war in 1942. Joseph would actually work in Australia for many years and pioneer the sport of bowling there. But his legacy is far broader than that, not only to his country during his service in World War II, but also to the veterans community in the Hudson Valley and across America. He was active in many veterans organizations, the Catholic War Veterans, and he helped to co-found the National Purple Heart Hall of Honor in New Windsor, New York. The Hall of Honor is dedicated to collecting and sharing the stories of Purple Heart recipients. No comprehensive list of Purple Heart recipients exists, and the Hall acts as an important archive and monument to their service. Joseph, like so many in his generation, knew what it meant to serve others. Like so many of his generation, he worked in his community and was a person dedicated to something bigger than himself. What a powerful lesson for all of us to recall today. He was a model American citizen, and he will be missed. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I yield back. The gentleman yields.